All right, all right, all right, let's get started. So if you want to start using Zotero, you have to go to zotero.org. So I've typed it in up here already, z-o-t-e-r-o.org. It brings you to their website. It is a free uh, application, so uh, you don't have to pay anything. You can upgrade later if you'd like, uh, but when you're starting out using it, and actually probably you won't need to upgrade anyway, but if you did, that is an option. So go to download, and then you'll need to do a couple of things. So in this case, it's recognizing that I am on a Windows machine, but if I were using a Mac, it would say for Mac, you download the application to your computer, and then over here, you have to also download the connector. So I am using Chrome, it knows this, so it asks me if I want to download it. I say yes. What it'll end up doing is up here in the upper right, it will con it have a connector. So if I wanted to cite this, this page, I could just click on that and it would push the citation information into my Zotero account. Um, it will also work in Articles Plus and Google, any kind of database, and we'll show you that a little later on. But right now, I'm good. I would, you need to click on the download here and install. And I have it open already on my computer so you can see what that looks like. Of course, when you first download it, you won't have any citations in there. So it'll just be empty folders and then you can rename those folders later and we'll show you that. Uh, and if you click on these, it, for example, will show you the citation information for that particular article. So once you have those set up, you will also need to go back and create an online account for Zotero, which is right here. As you can see, I already have a account, but you would come up here and register for a free account. And I'll just log in to show you what that looks like. So I'm already in, obviously. Uh, and then if you click, it'll look similar to the online to your uh, your desktop version so you have your folders and your articles and again uh, the reason to have the online account as well as the downloaded application to your computer is so that you can register them to sync so if for example this laptop that I'm using crashed or I lost it I would still have all my citation information up in the cloud so then I would just have to get a new computer, download the Zotero app, and resync, And then all of that stuff from the cloud would come back and be back on my computer again. So it's a very good idea to not only create your desktop version, but also create the online version. The next video will be showing you how to uh, sync and create the settings within your Zotero to, for example, use a specific citation style guide like APA. See you soon.